You got me. I got you. That does look better painted. We got we got hit by a semi on the way here. Touch. That's not how to start a video, Randy. <laughs> well, we got it touched up. Look at the sky. It looks picturesque. It's yeah, beautiful. it's pretty here today. Absolutely. It's gorgeous. Still cool. Didn't really warm up that much no, when the sun came out. It did a yeah. little bit. But here we guys. We're in Fresno, California. Tiny home show and home and garden show mm -hmm. outside. There's the main gate, and you come in, you'll be pulling in this main pavilion here. I just love that building over there with them palm trees coming through the uh -oh. road. This is so cool. There's Cowboy Bill strolling by. <laughs> it, not on his horse. They call him Cowboy. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. So, all right. Fresno, California. We were here this morning decorating. We want to show you what it looks like now, and let's take a look, right? Yeah. How do you like our skinning? Oh my God, it looks so beautiful. Hey, move that plant over just a little bit. Where you can yeah, we got away from our logo. eye. Kind of tell about the new logo really quick. All right, so this is our new logo just for our Incredibox. All right, and we have got t-shirts coming, long sleeve, short sleeve, and all it is is just the letter I. It's, it's just a really, I think, a, should I say a feminine um, logo that yeah. we wanted to, Amanda liked it. I thought it was cool. It's well, the I came eye. Up with it. Yeah. Yeah. And and I thought, man, that's just great to have just. I wanted to an have eye. something more. There was something that inspired me about it, and then I took it to Randy, and he loved it. And mm -hmm. I thought, you know what? I would wear this. Yes. With regular clothes mm -hmm. is what I was trying to think of. It's like, would I wear that with just in my normal day? So. Yeah. And I said, we need to get jewelry, mm -hmm. like a necklace and stuff. I so love it. we'll see what happens with yeah. our Incredible Box. Of course, Play we've with it. been doing this for just five, six months now, yeah. building these things. Mm -hmm. We're having a lot of fun. People are buying yeah. these things. Or everybody's enjoying decorating them, looking at them. And you guys are going to see what Amanda's done to this one. Yeah. And it gives you an idea of what yours could look like. And with a lot of help today, Amanda got. So yeah. I was very happy for that. For yeah. Randy, Cody, and Naomi for helping out today. They've done a fantastic job. Also, I just want to say this is an 8 by 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our 16 starts at 20 grand. Yep, right this there house right here is $25,000, and we can do a complete off grid mm -hmm. solar power, water, compost, complete off grid where you don't have to plug into anything yep. and live off grid. This is a big off grid package. Sure is. For 37.5. Hey, we got the lights on, and we're in a parking lot. Let's do it. Come right, on. We're going to walk around, but I wanted to show you. You can take your phone. I love this. You can just put your phone on there and go straight to our website, see our video. Well, there's a gentleman here today from uh, Monterey, California. Monterey yes. is gorgeous. And he was here, and we've been talking, and it was cool. And he, he was an older gentleman, and I took his phone, did that, popped on a video. He goes, oh, i got to go watch this. And so <laughs> he ran off to go watch the video. But... This is so neat. This came all the way from Tennessee like this. Yep. So it's a moving billboard for and us. Too, I just want to show, uh, can we give a plug for who did our... Yeah, our, Foxy Raps. Foxy Raps in Maynard. Maynardville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. There's her phone number. 865, look at this. 865-973-0000. Let me see. It's a great number. What a great number. Foxyraps.com, 865-973-0000. Yeah, and I'm talking, it looks like it's painted. It the wrap is just sucked up on these screws. It's beautiful. Beautiful job. All, all right, right, so all right. right, so we're going from billboard yeah. to home. Ready? Let's do it. La da da. Is this not cool? So, I know it. I love the colors. It's popping. Yep. What do you guys think? We, there's not one other tiny home here that has decorated the outside or the inside of their home. I know. No, no one easy. has. Nobody's done anything. They're just empty. Now, our gypsy wagon guy might be in there. Yeah, he He's kind of cool. Yet. He just pulled in. <laughs> anyway, these are our pallets. Those are just old wood pallets. I took some scrap wood and made some shelves on the bottom. And, of course, this one we turned horizontal. And we just had... Started putting stuff up. She started putting greenery and yeah. flowers and stuff. And you'll probably recognize some of the flowers from uh, some of the other builds that we've had. <clears throat> you'll remember this. This was on the um, the ocean breeze, or not the ocean, yeah, the ocean breeze that went out there. It's California. Yep. Yeah, so those yep. flowers were from there. I just like how it breaks things up, breaks up a big wall. And these are all just ideas to give you guys 
something to do when you get your Incredivox or if you've already bought one. And you know, man, all we did was just throw stuff up. Now this big pallet, what I did on the back, they've got wood slats. Mm -hmm. I threw a couple extra slats on the back. Yeah. I put liquid nail. Yep. Right. And then I just took wood screws because they got really coarse threads. Yes. And they were probably an inch and a half screw. Mm -hmm. And I screwed about four screws in each pallet. So I got about 12 screws in that. Yeah. And that rode all the way from Tennessee to here. It did. And then this one did too. And this one is really and heavy. This one has the shelves on it. This one's got shelves, two by fours, everything on it. I did the same thing. You can see the screw right here. I put liquid nail in a screw right inside. Just screwed the metal. it on there. Done. So you say glue it and screw it. <laughs> glue it and screw it. I glue it. it and screw it. Yep. And I want you to tell about your idea with the bottom. I love that that you put. Well, we had we had sheets Black, along yeah. along the bottom. We thought, well, it's it's like beige tan sheets. And then we had some of this greenery left over. So I started playing with it and thought, well, let's go ahead and put it on there for skirting. It looks great. I love it. You know, you can put any type of backing there. And if you wanted to buy this at Amazon yeah. and put this as for your skirting around your own home. Yeah. There's just and this is just one of many greenery that yeah. you can put on for skirting and on your house. And what we did with those up in the pallets and stuff, those are just these pieces. They're right crammed here. in there. They're just pulled apart. Mm -hmm. You can pull those apart into uh, sections. Little four little four. sections, which you'll see when you you'll go see in. You'll see when we go inside, but yeah. this looks so, I love it. And there was a, a lady that came up to me and she said, wow, she said, it doesn't seem like you're from Tennessee. These look like California colors. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, you know, we're not just dumb hillbillies. <laughs> Hey, why don't you you want to show the inside? Well, I want to show this corner because you decorated it. Show it, and I just want to t uh, tell them thank you. They have got flowers. Uh, these uh, trees or bushes mm -hmm. they gave to how many? Six to each. I mean, everybody. There's some over here, yeah, over we, there. Yeah, we got a bunch of yeah. trails. Yeah, I like them. And this is for crowd control. She said. Yeah. They said there's gonna be a lot of people here. I don't know coming through, but we brought all these, Manda. We brought all. We brought we a tree us. with us. We brought a tree. Now this one has a tongue box and now we're building these tongue box and selling them at the shop mm -hmm. on the assembly line if you want inside here is a hundred gallon water tank wow and then we'll show you inside a little bit about the tanks now remember this is completely off grid 37 five mm -hmm. it was 3500 bucks we went up thirty five thousand twenty five hundred dollars yeah yeah, it was thirty-five thousand. We just went up twenty-five hundred bucks. Now I want to talk about the tire. Is that the tire? That, this is the tire that goes extra tire. That yeah, this is a spare tire. Yeah, okay. we just brought it. I'll probably throw it underneath there tomorrow when okay. all the crowd comes in. But is that something if they purchase a home? Can do they? You get can that? you can buy an extra tire tire from us for one hundred and fifty bucks. Okay. We bought about fifty of them. Got them stacked at the shop. Perfect. Some people get them. Some people don't. Yep. Okay. They actually had a flat tire in the way of when the semi ran into them. Yeah. Pushed them off the side of the road and blew a tire out. Wow. Yeah. All right. So you ready to go in? We are ready to go inside. Come on, let's go. Come on in. I don't like how I want to even say anything. Just, just start panning. Is this not beautiful? Oh, you... Yeah, I'm gonna shut this door, man. Yeah. Wow. This is just awesome, man. Now today it's been in the 40s. It probably mm -hmm. got up a little in the 50s today. Yeah. This little bitty heater's been running all day. We still got a full percent charge. All the lights have been running. This is so cool to be off grid. I love it. All right. So now we're in our 20 footer, not our 16 footer. Yeah. In this much room is what we've gathered, gained from our 16 footer. Wow. What a difference. You know, what a difference. You actually, as you guys can see, now we have a desk, have a lounging area. It could be a dining room. Of course, you can eat there. And then this bed is a single bed. It could fold down into a queen. We have our pipe ladder going up, our secondary loft. There's this, wow. Got a little place to eat or do a laptop right there as well. Now, Amanda, we're selling these beds. These are storage beds. Underneath Good, here are yes. drawers. So this is a single bed. It's got storage drawers underneath it, big drawers. This starts out at $600, mm -hmm. seven and eight, depending if you want a, a, a twin, full or queen. Yep. The pipe ladders, we're going to probably offer the pipe ladders as an addition if you'd like a pipe ladder. Everything else is just... The imagination that you want to use like Amanda did in decorating this house. 
Because we wanted cool? to show just what you can put on the walls. You might, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but the ceiling's not painted. Nope. And you really don't even notice it. You we see? just painted the walls. And we wanted to leave it mm -hmm. so people can see what these things are made of. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Man, this is just it's so warm pretty. and cozy. I love it. You did a great job. Thank you. And this was kind of nerve wracking because um, it was not decorated before it left. So we oh get god, the it was piled in here. All I did was cram a bunch of stuff. I had some things in my mind. Now, something I really want to show is what you added underneath there. Underneath there with so the barnwood. I wanted to show what you could do with some barn wood or some mm -hmm. any kind of wood up underneath the loft area. Oh my god! How now beautiful. look, this has left from Tennessee all the way here, 25, 2600 miles here. And how this was a, a, a fastened to the bottom of this, yeah. there's, there's a wood strip. There's three wood strips in here. Okay. So I put some glue and I screwed the wood strips to the panel loft. Mm -hmm. And then I just took barn wood and just put them on here. Now I deliberately over here, Yeah. there's a, there's a gap, gap right here, yeah. right? There's a gap right it's there. It's rustic, rugged. It's a, it's a bump right there. It's off cut right here. And I did that because I wanted to show people how pretty this looks and you don't have to be a carpenter. You don't have to be a perfectionist no, to make these things look beautiful. so good. That yeah. added such a nice touch. That looks beautiful. Yep. It, you know, you just want to keep adding more and more stuff. I know. You know, because I, I know. told Amanda, I said, man, I could put a shelf here. You I could know. Put books and stuff up here. You know, we put these greenery because they had this big area. Yes. And you know, if you lived here, man, I'd be putting snowboards on here or I'd be putting or shelves or cabinets. Or something. There's all kinds of cool stuff. You can either even put another table here or I would like to have right here is probably a love seat or a recliner. Mm -hmm. You could put a love seat. A love seat would be great right there. Think about it. In this 20, 20 footer, a love seat, a desk, two beds, yeah. a full kitchen, bathroom, refrigerator, closet, now, and storage. Now turn around this way. Look at the this kitchen. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just, it looks so So you got pretty. your gooseneck faucet. Just to point out some amenities, if you guys have never seen our show or who we are, we, show the sink. we put a single sink in here. It's 17 inch single bowl sink. That's plenty big. We cut these um, countertops to fit right here. Mm -hmm. Gooseneck faucet. Microwave, which was, I wanted up here. Amanda said down there. Yeah. <laughs> I like my countertops clean. Yeah. But as you can see, there's room for a countertop. Yeah. Now this actually folds down. It folds down. Let me show you this. All right. Yep. So that'll fold down like that mm -hmm. and then fold back up. That's right. Okay. We built this shelf. Earlier we were showing, uh, describing how we built it. This is just a three quarter inch piece of yep. finished plywood. These are one by 12s underneath here. And what we did is we just put, come through the back with big three inch screws into that wood. And these are strong. It's very strong. Now you probably wouldn't want to put a ton of stuff on there unless you put some brackets. Well, you probably wouldn't want to put a microwave. And you, you think? Hmm. And no. you wouldn't put your Instapot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you do not want to put your Instapot. Well, you had to get that dig in there, didn't you? I just you? had to get that in there. We ain't going to put that microwave on there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. But there's a big difference between guys and girls. I've noticed that with decorating because even Cody had his differences about stuff like that. Yeah. It's just funny where you all would play something and where we would play something. Yeah. So. That, that wouldn't stay. <laughs> Randy would move this instantly. So. Yeah. But you know what? You doing your stuff gives yeah. texture and colors and all the stuff that makes it feel good inside. Yeah. You know? And then like your bulbs that you oh, put. Oh, I love these your salt bulbs. bulbs. Uh, can you tell them like maybe from there? Yeah, you can see them like that. The Himalayan salt. Uh, bulbs. Those look really pretty. Got them on Amazon. Wanted to tell you there are plugs behind here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's good to know. There are two plugs, mm -hmm. GFI'd. Yep. And then, of course, there's switches here for your bathroom, mm -hmm. for your kitchen. Yep. This is all done in a factory where we build three to five of these a day. Wow. Is that not just cool? Just getting that process down mm -hmm. is what's really neat. And we're adding amenities to these homes that we might add the ladder, the bed, and other things mm -hmm. that we can still pump them out that fast because we got other divisions building them and they just plug and play. Now something, I just show it really quick. We didn't show it a minute ago, okay. that heater. This heater is 250 watts, right? Wow, it has been warm all day. 250, that's all, 250 kilowatts. It's ceramic, right? It's ceramic. It doesn't take hardly anything. I'm going to let it run all night 
to oh, see what it does in the yeah. morning. Mm -hmm. And our batteries up there, this is fully off-grid home. Yes. So the solar right behind there is two lithium batteries, mm -hmm. two 5K lithium batteries. Then we got our fridge. I'm going to let the fridge run all night. What you got? Let me look. All right. So we did the living room. We did the dining room. We did the kitchen. Yeah. And now we're going to go in. No, before I go into the luxurious bathroom, <laughs> I want to say we got a little fridge in here. Now this, yes. this design, I designed the size of this for a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Yes. All right. We didn't bring one with us. People are put, making them into closets. They are. And they're putting their fridges underneath the counter, against the counter, somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I particularly like a big fridge. If I'm going to live full time, I want a big Absolutely, fridge. Absolutely, right? I agree. The way I did my closet idea here, of course, is under the bed. Mm -hmm. I know people want to have things that hang. And now, mm -hmm. to me, a small amoir would be nice. Yeah. Depending on where you put your TV. Sure. Right? Your bed can actually be shoved down one to the other. It could be, tw you know, you could actually turn your bed into this way and make it long ways. You could. And have an amoir in the corner. That's right. You know, or even right here. So mm -hmm. there's ways you guys can there is. have a closet. That's probably the only thing when I thought about hanging closets, hanging clothes mm -hmm. and stuff. I think about tiny and I know we got to have hanging clothes. Of and course. that's probably the only little thing. But this is a DIY. Yeah. So the DIY is for you all to come up with an imagination to put your closets. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to all the ideas that people have come up with. And you know? there, there's all kinds of stuff too. People do like wall pockets and there's wall things that you yeah. can hang stuff up. So there's all kinds of creative ways when you run out of room around yeah. or don't have a lot of space, start going up. You and know? Then, well, and then look at all the, the space yep, you have above. At, I know. So this is approximately about 18, 19 inches. Well, actually, it's more inside this 20-foot home than our 16-foot. You got more vertical height here. Yeah. So it's 38 by 92. 38 by 92, okay? All storage. Now, I've hid this stuff only because it is the show. That's the only reason why I have that stuff there, and i got a hamper and things like that. Yeah. But what are we hiding back there? Tankless water heater. Yeah, so and it's then, back there. Yeah, and then you. up behind this other basket she has are our batteries. The batteries, Two yeah. 5K lithium batteries. Mm -hmm. And as you come in here, I can show you. We don't have any water in our, our reservoir for our freshwater tank, but this is our our readout for our, our battery charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Been at 100 all day long. We open yeah. this up. I'll show you. We have our inverter charge mm -hmm. controller, our e EMPs for DC, AC, and this is this is what comes with your off-grid or just this your is the solar. System. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the system. And I've been thinking today, I'm going to add, I'm going to come up with another system, the pricing and stuff, because I want to sell a a nice strong system yes. so you can go a mac daddy we may add two four batteries in these things okay. right compost toilet and i just put a pillow there just for looks yep. that's all behind here is your water pump all the stuff for your fresh water okay water great. pump fil uh, the filtration system it's mm -hmm. still down below here and behind the toilet yeah easy to get to on this left side there's enough room and there's an outlet right there and i love you got a little shelf here the guys did that yeah. before we left and then you got your GFI outlet. Yeah. And then, of course, man, to just decorate with a coat rack, anything. I'm going to put a picture there. I've still got to put something up. And also with the shower. Now, something we want to mention is that we, on purpose, did not um, paint the bathroom. Right. We want it. And it looks nice. It don't look bad. No, not at all. No, yeah. you put a picture there, you're not even going to notice. Look at the shower curtain and stuff. You just hang up the shower curtain. Here's the shower. What size is the shower? 36 inch shower wow that is a nice plenty of room shower plenty yeah. of room you got a lot yep and right under the floor right right outside the shower under mm -hmm. the floor is water hot and cold and a drain wow. for a sink if somebody wanted to put a wall mounted sink in now there. is that always plumbed that always. way always always done that always way. there somebody said what about a washer and dryer well if you wanted to now this has got your off-grid tank you can't go out mm -hmm. on your tongue and build anything you could put a washer and dryer under here and stub all your draining and water combo. from yep. your sink to your cabinets and that. That's why it's a DIY. Wow. Ah, oh, let me show you how this, this light works. Okay. So this is the only interior light in the living room. Mm -hmm. And so we put it on a switch. Yes. Yes. I love that. And then when you're on the outside, this is the outside That's switch the outside. here. So when you walk in the door, inside this cavity is all our wiring. Or we got some plumbing going mm -hmm. on here, a drain, and all that stuff. 
works really well. All this has been thought out over a process in our factory and how we lay these things out. Yeah. You know what, Mandy? I've been here a little bit, and you can tell there's been some builders come by. Yes. And they've been asking some questions. This is the first time I've been out and about in years. First time I've talked, even seen builders doing Other stuff. builders, yes. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even talked to them. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow. There's a couple guys that are, I'm going to get to talk to. Um, today was one from San Diego. He come by, and you know what? He was just a great guy. Nice guy. And I'm going to share some information for him that he needs some supplies and see if we can't help him in that area. And I'm going to sh I'll share him on Facebook. I've got a picture with us. So. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So just meeting some other builders was cool. Now you can tell there are some looking at it, and they're just like, Click, click, and then they walk away. And, <laughs> you know, but we'll see how it goes tomorrow. I hope you guys, if you're from Fresno or in the local area, come on and see us. If you get this video, um, I don't know how many people watching are from this local area, but yeah, man, I'd love to have you come by. Look at what we're doing. Love, to just say hi to us and see what you think about our see home. See what you think. We love the feedback. Want yeah. to know what you think about it? Everybody that we talked to today we talked about this price. They love because you know what? All the tiny houses honestly yeah. look good. They all look pretty. They yep. all look good. It comes down to price. Comes down to comes price. Comes down to price. And how much room do you need? So think about it. We In this house, the features that are in this house yeah. are exactly the features in an $80,000 home. Yes. Just let that sink let in that your head. Let that sink in. So you're looking at this house is $25,000 yes. without the off-grid. You, you don't need the off-grid. We bought it here, brought it here as a, this is our model home. Yep. Twenty-five grand for what you, this size home. Yes. It has a full kitchen, full bathroom, toilet. One guy said, does it got a kitchen or bathroom in there? Yeah. I said, yeah, it's got it all. Yeah. You don't have to, if you want to heat it, look at this right here. This is, we install these for you for $300. If you don't want this, you can get you a little heater from Walmart oh, and run absolutely. you out of here. Yeah. If you want an air conditioner, we got a plug right here. You cut a hole and put an air conditioner. Put an air You've conditioner. got heat and cold. All right, heat and cool. Think about it. You have all the amenities in this one. It comes with a 54-inch loft. All this for the same thing. If you go over here and buy this guy's, or anybody, and I'm not saying just this guy's, 20-foot yeah. home yep. for $60,000, $90,000. Only thing is, of course, you guys got to make it look a little different if you want. And That's it's right. just what you want it to make it look. It has all the mechanicals. We do all the electrical, the plumbing, the certification. Everything in here is tested, and it's ready to live in. That's right. I love it. DIY, decorate it yourself. $25,000 for the 8x20s. Uh, 20000 still for the, 16 for the 8 by 16 You did not change the prices of the Incredibox. Nothing. We are still $20,000 mm -hmm. for the Incredibox. $25,000 for the 20-foot Incredibox. Absolutely. That has not changed. The only thing we want in price is the solar, and that was because we were giving it as cost. We, we weren't making any right? money. Yeah, so other than that... I love it. It really turned out better than I thought because all we did was just shove stuff in ah. here. And it's like, well, let's see what works out. Look at this, man. Oh, look at there. Ah. Oh, look, you're laying down in the flowers. <laughs> <sighs> what a day. What a day. Well, it looks great. And thank you so much for your help. And thank you, Crazy Joe and Cody and Naomi and Rio, everybody that has helped us in... Uh, on this trip tomorrow starts a big day of talking oh my gosh and standing yeah. and everything so friday saturday and sunday we're going to be quite busy I they think. said saturday's a big day here i know you know because tomorrow's friday people are working people are still working you know and they're not going to get in we close down at five i guess tomorrow here oh, is it is it till five you know what we should know the hours is it nine to five nine to five or ten to five ten to five look it up it's the fresno home shows this is the tiny house um, home and garden show. Yeah, home and garden show. Yeah, and they, Fresno. Yep, and they got. Gosh, I bet they got ten tiny homes inside, inside the building the there. Building too. So yep. there's a lot. There's probably what fifteen tiny homes, maybe. It surprised me. Twenty. That we're the only one decorating. I know. No one else is decorating. Inside them. and outside. I know. Hey, well, I'm glad we did. And if you guys are near Newport, Tennessee, you want to come by and see us, we're at a tiny home show. It's got fifteen homes, right? Yep. At our location, <laughs> we've got over 160 people living in tiny homes. Plus, we probably have another 60 homes sitting outside our factory, and we build three to five a day. Three to five a day. We got our own tiny home show going yep. on. 
Always. every single day. So if you want to come by and see us, make an appointment. Please go on email, call, let us know. We make an appointment is because it just keeps us organized. If you drop in, we try to handle you. If we don't have enough time, I'm sorry we won't be able to show you around, but man, we would love for you to come and see what we do. All right. So anyway, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. We'll be here tomorrow. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.